Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today, we are talking about what not to do on the full moon. In our three previous parts, we have explained exactly what needs to be done in the full moon, during the full moon. And now, we are talking about what not to do during the full moon. It's very important that you do not confuse what you need to request on a new moon and what you need not to request on a full moon. The new moon and the full moon are different. Now we are talking about the full moon, when, why, uh, which is tomorrow on the 1st of October. It, it depends on when you are following this video. But now I'm going to tell you what not to to do or in a full moon. Number one, you don't need to start something new during the full moon. For example, you, sm you are smoking cigarette and you, you want to make a decision to quit smoking cigarette. You can't do that on a full moon. You want to make a decision to divorce. You can't take that in the full moon. You cannot take major decision of your life at this particular time. It's just wrong. It's not the proper time spiritually for you to make strong commitment. So whatever thing you want to quit an habit, you want to quit to smoke, you want to quit to drink, you want to quit an habit, or you want to separate yourself from a situation, what Whatever mind you are going through now in your mind, in your head, whatever thinking you are going through, whatever planning you are planning, I'm not advising you to take a major decision. You might say, Master, I feel so, but I'm telling you, the lunar energy, the energy of the moon, does not just allow you. And as a spiritual being, you are compelled to respect that. You can disobey, you don't get the result, the result that you want. That is our first point. The second point is don't overwork or overstress. You might be feeling the pressure right now to raise your rent money. You might be feeling the pressure to raise your bills money. You might be feeling the pressure to work more because this seems opportunity. But it's not the right time. It means you can work so hard as much as you want. You won't be rewarding for you if you can use the same energy, the same workforce, and use it in another lun a lunar time. So by that, what I mean? Your husband might be stressing you. Your wife might be stressing you. Your child may be stressing you. Your relatives may be stressing you. Your colleagues may be stressing you. Your neighbors may be stressing you. Your old friend may be stressing you. People, acquaintance may be stressing you. Life circumstances in general may be stressing you. The corona situation around us might be stressing you. Suppress the stress. Do your best to be you. Try to take control of your body, spirit, and soul. And refuse to be controlled by stress. Do not need to work overtime time unless it's necessary. Unless you're in essential services. Unless it's primordial or cardinal for your business or your career success. If that is not the case, don't. This is the time to reflect. This is the time to analyze, to check what happened, where you are, and where to go. And our last part is make life-changing decisions. You don't need to make life-changing decisions at this particular time. You can take measures and steps through emotions. It will be a fair to you. So now, I'm going to summarize by saying, during the full moon, you do not take major decisions 
you are reflecting on what transpired throughout the moon calendar. I'm going to be teaching you about the new moon as well again in details. I'll be teaching about the Cartier and the Cotton. The moon practice is from very, very, very long time. And farmers of the time, business people, spiritualist people have benefited from that. Religious people benefited from that. These are the kind of secrets that you need in your life. These are the kind of secrets that you need to transform and change your life. You are welcome to ask me questions, to seek guidance on the new moon rituals. He's going to transform your life, not mine, yours. Hey, you don't need to pay me for this. I'm giving it to you free of charge, just fulfilling my spiritual purpose to enlighten you. You've been enlightened. Share the video, comment and like. Ask prayer requests, seek our service. Is your humble spiritual servant master, Roger Katapena. For those who want to contact me for my private service and private assistance for their businesses and spiritual advice and guide, you can still WhatsApp me or call me on plus 27 81 729 double five. Or you can still email me at ancient spiritualism at gmail.com May the grace of the divine be upon you. May the grace of the archangel be upon you. May the grace of the ancestors uh, be upon you. May the grace of the ascended master be upon you. May the grace of I am the high spirit 